Hey Libra, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your What You Have to Look Forward to reading. So I just wanted to address that, um, you know, I want to get on a schedule, but I find that it's difficult for me to just, um, you know, pull in the energy on demand like that like when I try to stick to a schedule it's like other energies that I'm also dealing with personally get in the way and you know not to try to present myself as though I never go through rough things but I want to give my best energy to you so that you get the best advice if that makes sense that I'm hearing the message clearly and it's not um, tainted by anything you know uh, cloudy energy that I'm going through so anyways let's get to your reading spirit what do we have for Libra to look forward to so I was downloading in the be in, right before I started I was downloading like that your environment is really crucial to what you have to look forward to so I'm feeling like that could be you know the people around you your environment as far as you know um, what you where you work at where you live it can be it could be the weather it could be so many things that affect how you perceive your your present and your future so I feel like that is something to take into consideration um, when you are especially when you're starting your day like you know how can I make this the best day it's like be mindful that even when you're in alignment within you may need to do certain things to align yourself to your environment all right so let's see what Libra has to look forward to and we have number 56 stuck so you may be feeling kind of stuck and I'm getting this like just in the picture it's like if you're in the center there's things that are moving around you they're almost like deflecting um, good and bad things from coming your way which may make you feel stuck because there may be a reason for you to be feeling you know sometimes the divine brings us to a spot where we feel stuck just so that we can look at our environment and can be made aware of certain things. But let's see what the book has to say. Number 56. Okay. And I know that when I repost this on YouTube, it always like mismatches the audio. And I mean, the message still comes through. So it is what it is. But um, so let's see what this has to say. In the merry-go-round of life, the moments that seem never-ending are preparing my soul for its greatness. Stuck in an endless array of negative emotions, a cycle of problems that may or may not be of your own making can, not, can all quickly stop your journey forward dead in its tracks. Round and round it goes, where it stops, nobody knows. An old nursery rhyme sung on many playgrounds, this is the perfect analogy of how the feelings and thoughts are sometimes experienced. Before you realize it, you are adding your own energies of thinking and feeling into this mix of a whirling dizziness, all the while trying to stop the cycle. The more you worry, the more it seems that the answers will never be found, and the farther you find yourself on the edge where the force of the spin is the strongest. Others may make suggestions. Hold on. Changing the page here telling you just to suck it up that you are just too sensitive and you need to get a thicker skin still the merry-go-round of never-ending dark feelings continues as you realize that no one seems to truly understand you've tried to be stronger you've tried to make choices for yourself but that pathway to stillness evades you as an empath due to your sensitivities of all the energetic experiences of life you must remember the stillness resides in the center it is true the center spins faster but when you can find that center the forces of the outer edge have less effect on your system as a child when you tried to hold on to the edge of the merry-go-round you experienced much delight as you were thrown off 
giggling, you would find the courage once again to grab hold and hang on with all your might. It is as if the childlike innocence within had no worry or concern. As an adult, it is obvious that the responsibilities of life and all the energies involved quickly make innocence disappear. Deep inside, your spirit craves a new knowing of what you have lost in this grown-up world. In the center, it still can be found. Do this for the moments of feeling stuck. Become the best you can. <coughs> Excuse me. Find a space free from the intrusions of the outside world, a playground of your own making. Dig deep within to the core of your inner being. Feel the power of the spin and let its light throw off all the heavy intrusions of the outside world. And when the answer presents itself, jump off the merry-go-round and begin to play again. I love that. I don't think I've drawn this card ever. So I really love that. It says, have I lost my ability to play? Are the moments of my life spinning out of control? Am I too caught up in the shoulds of the situation? Yeah, so what is defining those shoulds? Like, if you're getting advice from somebody, are they saying, well, you know, what you should do, what you should do? And maybe that doesn't match up with your soul. So it's maybe really connecting with the divine, connecting with your higher self to say, what is it that will release me from feeling stuck? And again, I do think that this confirms what I was downloading about your environment. So there may be things that you really need to acknowledge are in your environment, whether good or bad. So, you know, show an appreciation for the good things that are in your environment. And then also, you know, maybe organizing things so that, um, if they are hindering you in any way or letting go of things that are blocking you. So at the bottom of the deck, we have number 50, the chameleon. So yeah, it's not about um, blending in, right? It's, it's about creating the environment uh, around you and your internal environment according to your own authenticity. All right, so let's see what we have for money and career. Now these energies can apply to anything, but these are law of attraction cards that usually deal with wealth and career. Okay, and we have non-attachment. And it says, I am certain that I will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen. So I feel like there is, um, this is like, you know, when you're trying to manifest and you're trying to visualize what it is that you want to accomplish or what it is you're trying to draw into your life, there's definitely, um, that visualization is extremely important. However, if you decide that particular thing, you know, I want a red car, this particular car, and you're trying to call that in, you know, other opportunities it may be gifted to you in another way. It may be, maybe it's not red. Maybe it's, um, you know, a different car. But if you get blinded by, no, it has to look this way when I manifest, you may miss that you have manifested that. And at the bottom of the deck, how <laughs> funny, we have visualization. So it says, I make mental pictures of my goals that are simple and to the point. So the visualization then is really, it is important. It's just a matter of visualizing it, being very clear and holding that intention, but then just releasing it to uh, God to bring it to you the way that they see fit, right? All right, so let's get a crystal angels in regard to health and wellness. And we have a apophyllite. Okay, the apophyllite. Increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. So what I'm getting here is that you are, you're manifesting support in your life. And this could be, you know, this definitely is divine support, but I feel like this is also people and um, resources. So apply that how it fits. 
And at the bottom we have Unakite. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So more about support and it says answered prayers. Oops, there I am. I have so much fun with these uh, backgrounds. I know it's goofy, but I have fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> So I'm also getting with this visualization and that chameleon there. It's like, I think that part, I think that spirit is saying as part of the visualization, don't just picture the item or the circumstances that you want to manifest. Picture yourself in that, right? And I feel like that is going to be crucial to manifesting what you desire all right so let's see how this is playing out for you leo leo libra i just got done watching the leo king's uh daily horoscope so sorry about that what is the past energy for libra and we have the four of swords so I feel like this is partly that stuck energy there. Okay. So the four of swords is all about healing and rejuvenation and taking that time out to, you know, reconnect and heal from a situation. And this could be, maybe you aren't doing the healing. Maybe that's why you're stuck. Maybe this is what needs to happen, but we will definitely get clarity. So What's the current energy for Libra? And we have the Prince of Discs. So this is all about making a plan and sticking to it. And this is your talking about manifestation. Now this is slow moving. So I feel like that stuck feeling, it could be just that it's baby steps. It's very, it's happening slowly, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. And so it can feel like you're stuck. But when you really look back to when you first started this path of trying to manifest whatever it is here, if you look at the difference between now and the very first step you took, I'm sure you're gonna see how much actual prog progress you've made, which is beautiful. What is the challenge here for Libra? I mean, this could be, all of this could be um, love, career, money, spirituality, friendships, family, any of it. I, I feel like it applies to all situations here. So we have as the challenge, embrace the all, which this is an extra card in this deck. And what I love about this is it's really saying that it's like, it's like finding that way to really look at everything as a gift, even your challenges, even, you know, the um, emotional situations that are less than desirable because we learn so much from that. And it's also about that, like kind of making things like either uh, good or bad, dark or light. I mean, it's like everything is all things. So it's like really finding the beauty in all of that. So that's where your challenge is. And I feel like, you know, it's like being that ultimate loving person and then still having the challenge of staying in that vibration even when things are not going well so-called well right um if we can let go of classifying everything it's in our nature to do so so that we can stay organized so that we can um decipher how we feel about something or what our next action is going to be it's in our nature but i feel like that is something that we can overcome and just be in the now, right? So what is the advice here from Spirit? And we have the Hermit. So there's definitely a call to really, it's like maybe you have gone through some healing, but there's definitely a need to do that inner work, that inner journey. And that is what um, 
the hermit's all about. This can also talk though about mentors and um, like learning, kind of learning, shaping your beliefs based on learning new things from others or even doing your own research. But this is mostly talking about that internal journey and really getting to know yourself. What is the outcome here for Libra? And we have the King of Swords. So this is really getting that mental clarity. And you know, the way they show this, I love it because if you're feeling stuck, it's like that's what that hermit, that inner journey is what's gonna make you take off and fly. It's beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And this is all about legacy and building, you know, um, building your own empire. Or, you know, this could be about even building for retirement. But it takes time. This is not something that happens overnight, usually. And so I feel like, um, you know, it's almost like saying embrace the journey and um, you'll get where you're trying to get to your Ten Pentacles, but um, really enjoying and learning the lessons and gathering the wisdom as you go. All right, so let's clarify here. Why is this Four of Swords here for Libra? And this is the Fool. So I feel like this is all about restoring your faith, restoring your confidence within yourself, understanding that we're all, we're all on the fool's journey and that, you know, if we want to move forward, it is going to be into the unknown, right? It, I mean, we can circle the same track over and over and yes, we know what we're gonna see along the way, but that's not going to advance us in any way. And not that we always have to be advancing, but it's kind of like that's when you start feeling stuck is when you're not, when you're just trying to stay in your comfort zone, if that makes sense to you. All right, so why is this Prince of Dis here? Whoa, too many cards. Why is this Prince of Dis here? And we have the lovers. So I feel like this is like, you know, you're on this path and really enjoying it and finding those things that you truly connect with. This could definitely be about relationships, obviously, um, but it doesn't have to be just about relationships. I feel like the energy is there to really allow you to enjoy the journey, connect with things that really, really mirror back to you. Um, the same alignment with the same joy, with the same, um, I mean, I mean, I'm getting a little bit about this opposites attracting. I don't know that that's always the case. I feel like it's, it's like, there's definitely a parallel at the very least when you really align with somebody, there's a parallel. It might not be that you are focused on the same point, but maybe you're focused on the same level, if that makes sense to you. All right, so why is this embrace the all here as the challenge? And we have judgment. So I feel like that's the point. It's like um, there, everything is part of your experience here on in this lifetime, right? Everything adds to it. Everything makes your life a beautiful life. This could also talk about, you know, fulfilling your purpose. Um, you know, a lot of times they, they talk about judgment as this wake up call, right? So I feel like it goes back to this non-attachment. Okay, and I feel like what it's saying is that by embracing the all, everything that you are in vibration and aligned with and calling into your life 
is all for a purpose. It's all for a purpose. All right, so why is this hermit energy here as the advice for Libra? And we have the devil. So especially in this deck, when we look at the difference between the lovers and the devil, I mean, and other decks too, but this one I love in particular. And I feel like this is what we're talking about here. Is it really aligning with your soul or is it because you are stuck, right? And feel, and this doesn't just have to be about the relationship. It's about what are you connecting with? What makes you feel more alive and um, in alignment? And what makes you feel stuck and bound, right? So I feel like by this clarifying this hermit energy, I feel like this is a, it's something that you need to stay, take stock of within and find out what really aligns with you. And this, I feel like this goes back to your environment. Who is in your environment or what is it in your environment that makes you feel stuck and bound or um, obsess about or um, it's like just what is the energy in your environment? Is it promoting or perpetuating addictive behaviors, stuff like that. So I feel like there's definitely a need to do that inner journey, take stock, take stock of the things that are, you know, making you feel stuck, right? So why is this King of Swords here as the outcome? And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a, an odd card to clarify this, but it's about really looking at what have you invested in and what's going to carry you forward. How can you approach things with that clear intelligence, right? A clear mind, nothing making you feel stuck. The Seven of Pentacles can feel like stuck energy because we're waiting, we're watching the, the pot, waiting for it to boil. We need to trust the universe that at that at that right point it will boil or these seeds that, you know, the fruit will come. But if we keep digging up the seed to see if it's uh, sprouting, then we're going to, you know, then we're not going to have life come from those seeds. So I feel like this is really looking at what is fruitful in your life and what is making you feel stuck, right? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups. So yeah, this is what I get is that there's a lot going on in your environment that can be kind of playing interference with you reaching that 10 of pentacles. So as far as looking at this and saying, what do I have to look forward to? Well, you have answered prayers, you have increased support, and you, you have the visualization. So then you know exactly what you're looking forward to. Just don't be so attached and um, limiting your mind. Don't be small about what you are trying to manifest. And also don't don't be so rigid in how the universe is going to bring that back to you. All right, so let's get some guidance to close this out. We do, it, this is a major time for you because we have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana. So this is like a major time for you. Like these are not just day-to-day -day things. This is a major time for you. This could be a major turning point for you. And a lot of times that does happen. We do feel stuck when we're right, like either at a crossroads or a big bend in the road because it's like, it's almost like gearing up for that takeoff. So that's what I'm seeing here for you. All right, what guidance do we have for Libra? And we have fairy magic, respectfully work with the fairies and elementals to achieve your goals. 
So I feel like there is that is that divine support coming in that um, yeah I'm definitely getting that there is divine support coming in for you and I feel like with the hermit card and when you look at this card you can see that tree of life here I feel like there is some something with the meditation and clearing chakras that's really going to be beneficial for you and we have self-confidence strong self-belief and sense of worth who doesn't need a boost in that direction um yeah don't dim yourself to fit in like have the self-confidence to really be who you are and that's going to bring forth more confidence. You're going to find yourself have, being surrounded by people that um, do not take away from that, if that makes sense. What else? Breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health, and letting go of vices. And we did talk about that. So I feel like there is, you know, it doesn't have to be a substance. There's a lot of bad habits that we all have, right? Um, but if it is a substance, then, you know, addressing that. And I think that, that nobody has to tell you that. If it's, if it's obstructing you or, or making you feel bound, you already know that, right? So then we have at the bottom, we have the elements, the elements of fire, air, earth, and water combined to create powerful protective boundaries spiritual mental physical and emotional so this is definitely for me all about your environment that protective inner protective boundaries um you know whether it's looking at um you know your surroundings and it doesn't even have to be people but i definitely see that this could be people and um being mindful of that all right, those are the messages that came through. Thank you so much for watching. If you came in late, just check out the replay of this on my YouTube. And I will be back later to do Scorpio. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.